So very warm welcome once again um, everyone uh, to my channel Simulation Engineer. As you can see uh, today the topic of my video is how to use latex in uh, Visual Studio Code. So it's going to be just a small hands-on tutorial uh, including uh, the installation stuff and what, uh, what necessary tools you require in Visual Studio Code to compile and build your text tool uh, text files so latex files. So as you can see, there is uh, you, you see on the screen there is no need to uh, install Latex MK or Perl because a lot of people are getting this error and um, it's really kind of a troublesome issue. Uh, so just if you have uh, Visual Studio Code installed, you can simply go ahead with PDF Latex and make sure that uh, the MicTex, which is a modern text editor. If a compiler, if it is a distribution, if it is installed in your system, you are really good to go. You don't need any other tool. So uh, the prerequisites are um, Visual Studio Code. So you can see if you have not uh, downloaded it until now, you can download it from here. And then a very important extension which is required to use Latex in Visual Studio Code is Latex Workshop. I have given the link here. I will also put all these links in the description so you can get it from there. And make sure that you have MicTex, which is, uh, as mentioned earlier, some modern text distribution is installed in your system. It doesn't matter whichever system you use. If you're working uh, with Linux, Windows, or Apple, it's available for all platforms. So, how you do the Latex installation? Uh, first of all, you install uh, the Latex Workshop, as mentioned in the previous slide. MicTex should be installed on your system and then you are good to go. You don't need any installation of Perl uh, and or uh, Latex MK. Yeah, and how you normally build the Latex, uh, Latex code, this uh, we will see uh, later on uh, in the demo. But uh, just to um, show initially uh, what kind of uh, process or procedure is required to build the Latex code, just open the command palette in your in VS Code as you do for other languages. Uh, you can go via menu from so view and command palette or you use the combination of uh, shortcut keys like control plus shift plus P and then it will open um, kind of a window or a dialog box with certain options and then in that box you will type latex workshop build with recipe so once you will opt, uh, opt for this option and then you say click it uh, like on this text then uh, VS code will be giving you certain options like you can um, compile with latex mk or um, there are also other options just go or choose this option instead of latex mk and uh, we visual studio code will compile your text file you can also directly compile your tool uh, by using the control plus alt plus b combination b uh, but uh, in that case uh, one has to really go in some further advanced settings in your json file uh, to make sure that uh, it is not uh, always uh, by default running this latex mk compiler otherwise you will be always getting the same error uh, that it is it will say that the Perl is libraries or language is not installed so latex mk is not able to uh, install uh, compile your text file it's always giving you this script engine error but uh, you normally don't need that and uh, there will be another very very easy shortcut which i will show you later on and then uh, last but not the least once uh, the text file is compiled you are then um, also um, able to directly view your pdf file within vs code so it will open another new tab you can also opt for opening another browser you can also opt for another external program okay so now let's move on to the demo so first of all Let's see the extension. It is called Latex Workshop. So just uh, go to the extension uh, option and then type here in the box Latex uh, Workshop in your extensions marketplace. Once you do that, you just have to choose the first module or the first package. You see, I have already installed it, uh, but then just simply install this one Latex Workshop. Once you have installed this and you have MicTex is already installed in your system, then you are simply good to go. Okay, 
So how do we really start this one? So I have a file which is called test latex or text. This is already available. So once you have this file available, the moment you open a latex file or a text file, you see this this file. Once you open any latex code, uh, on the left side, bottom left side, you will see uh, a new option which is called text or latex. So once you will open this it has certain commands so it starts from building your latex project uh, viewing your latex pdf file you can view the log messages or errors you have certain snippets available you have a separate snippet panel available you have uh, like bibliotech uh, uh, like bi uh, bibliography and all this which is called bibtext which is, is common um, all the terminologies are similar so once we have this one so now what you have to do is either you you can press Control plus Shift plus P. You will be you will see this option which is called Latex Workshop Build with Recipe. You will click this, and you see it's by default Latex MK is selected as a compiler. So you just have what you have to do is you just have to choose an option uh, of PDF Latex, Bibtex, and PDF Latex 2. So once you will click this one, we will see that. Uh, on, on the status bar that it has compiled and it is always giving us uh, these small warnings or errors uh, which uh, is actually not really an, a big issue one can also ignore this one so it's always complaining that um, we this maybe it's it's, it's 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 a bug i have to uh, go through it but it's um, it doesn't matter whichever latex file you have it, you are always getting this citation web data and web style command errors so if uh, somehow in your document you are just testing, I mean, you can't really have a bibliography or a reference or citations. So just at the moment for the timing, ignore this one. The main important thing is that it is uh, successfully compiled. So once we go there, so you can also even by using this uh, command uh, menu, build latex project. So you don't have to go through shortcut keys. There is an option directly available. So you can choose again this PDF Latex, Bibtex and PDF Latex to do. So once we have done this, we close for the moment the snippet option. Uh, you click this one. So view Latex events. Once you will, uh, if you directly click on the on the top menu, like view Latex PDF, so it will open with NVS code, a new tab with your file name. So you see, I have uh, in my document, I have used how to use Latex in VS Code. No need to install Perl and Latex. So it, it's, it's really working perfectly. So there is no need to install any Perl libraries or Latex MK, which uh, you normally get these kind of errors. So I think um, this has, this is kind of uh, somehow resolved uh, the issue of uh, using uh, Latex in VS Code, which is very, very easy. And uh, if someone who is really working with VS Code with other languages or other tools, so it's really handy. So you don't have to use several tools. So you just stick with one code like VS Code, which is really versatile. And uh, just to give you a brief overview also, you have also the different kinds of symbols and snippets you can use in Latex VS Code as in other stuff. Uh, here you also have... Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's like VS Code is facilitating in such a way that some you don't even have to type like alpha, beta, and gamma extra. So if you uh, just um, go ahead and type say alpha, it's already written alpha, or you can say beta, gamma, and any other uh, integral or derivative stuff. So we can just uh, compile it once again on the status bar. You will see that it's compiling. It's done. You go open your VS file. And there you go it's done so it's already here available so i was also mentioning that uh, you can also uh, open it in a web browser so instead of directly open within here uh, within vs code uh, you simply click uh, you simply click the in another browser so it will open it directly in the browser so you see it is open also in the browser and once you simply hover the mouse over the top bar and you will get the menu available for your PDF file. So I think um, that's about it. 
and I would encourage then you guys who are having maybe some issues or problems using Latex in VS Code to use this in VS Code uh, by using the PDF Latex recipe instead of the Latex MK recipe. And uh, no, I think that's that's all from my side. And if you like this video, uh, share it um, further. And if you have not subscribed my channel until now, I would encourage you guys to share my channel and and subscribe my channel and uh, also promote it among your friends and family if you think that it's really worth doing it and i need your, you guys support keep supporting me and i wish you everyone a very nice day take care and bye bye